Hello my friends and welcome to my System Shock 2 narrated playthrough, episode 1. I'm going to be uploading them one episode at a time, probably one every week there, rather than doing the whole thing at once and uploading it all at once, because it's easier for me. And it also allows you to provide me with feedback and stuff if my banter is too boring. Welcome to the Ramsey Center UNN Recruitment Facility. Please watch your step when leaving the train. The grav shafts at the end of the hall will take you to the street level training and recruitment center. Please proceed to the grav shafts. Okay, so what we have here is a very cool and very simple visual aid to show that this is the fucking future. Rather than using steps or uh, uh, a lift or an escalator or something, it's a fucking gravity thing. It's very cool. And then another very cool thing over here is there's a what is very clearly a western company and very clearly an eastern company side by side uh, it gives the impression of a very blade runnery society anything that's cool and then just in case you weren't clear that it's the future there are robots doing the jobs that people would normally do that means two possible cool things uh, it could mean that we live in a very uh, utopic society where nobody has to work and robots do everything for us. But it could also mean that it's that there's sort of widespread unemployment because of robots and there's some kind of neo Luddite movement or something. Something very cool like that. I don't know. I think it's cooler. Okay, so here are the three classes. There's the OSA, that's the psychic. Uh, there's the Navy, that's the technically skilled warrior, and then there's the Marine, who's rubbish. I'm gonna be Marine. I'm always the Marine. Marine is my class of choice. Now, a cutscene would play here, but... Okay, here we go. Now, unlike most traditional role-playing games, which have you sort of roll up a character at the start with a character sheet creation thing where you're just clicking a lot of buttons. System Shock 2 does it all in gameplay by giving you uh, your tu by letting you choose your tours of duty. There are more robots. Cool robots. Okay, so here I select my posting. Since I'm a navy guy, let me see. Uh, Modifying strength, repairing strength, or hacking strength. Now I'm a hacker, so I'm going to go with hack. Uh, a cutscene would play here, but it's just a ship flying into a docking bay, so you're really not missing anything. Okay, here's part two. Or year two, whatever. Now standard weapons, maintenance, or cyber affinity. Now I'm a hacker, so cyber affinity is really the thing I have to go with. It makes me better at hacking. And then another cutscene would play here, uh, but again it's just a ship flying into a docking bay. You're not missing much. Okay, and now my final year. Year 3. Oh, actually, there's something really cool here I'd like to show you. Check out this robot here. It's just hanging around, and then... It's doing the Macarena. For no apparent reason. I think that's a very cool little easter egg. I hope all robots in the future do Macarenas. That would be, uh... Definitely a utopia. Okay, agility, endurance, or research. Now I'm playing on impossible difficulty, the hardest difficulty, and one of the things that does, it gives you very little fucking health, so I have to go with endurance, or else I'll just die repeatedly. Okay, that's the end of the uh, character building, which in most other games would be done through a boring menu in System Shock 2. It's done in-game in a very cool way. Oh, the ship's blowing up. I've just come out of stasis, out of one of the stasis pods. Now check this corpse and get the uh, spanner or wrench, as you Americans say. And I'll equip it. Now I can uh, smack stuff. Okay, here the uh, the pods. I was in one of those, I guess. Okay, fill 
gerade. That really bothers me, because they say sucked into space, when you would actually be blown into space. It's kind of a surprising error. It might seem pedantic, but it is very basic science. It's, it's surprising that they made the error. There's a key card. Use the key card on the door. The game is teaching you the very simple mechanics. Yeah, uh, here's an audio log. This codes out of cryo A again. Like I've got nothing better to do. I think Grassy just likes to make work for me. I'll set the new code to 451. That 451 is a reference to uh, Red Robbery's book, Fahrenheit 451. It's a very good book, you should definitely read it. And um, using 451 as the password for the, for the first door has become tradition. System Shock 1 did it, 2, uh, Deus Ex, and uh, Bioshock did it as well. And if I was ever able to make a game, I think I would probably put 451 as the first password as well. Okay, here's some very cool foreshadowing. It's cool that that door opens as well. That's cool. Automatic sensor door. And there goes a hybrid. the battery here now. And now I have to drag the actual battery from my inventory into the socket. I think that kind of direct object manipulation is very cool and uh, you know, it was it was a few years before other games were doing that sort of thing. Like um, Max Payne. I, I guess Half-Life did that sort of thing as well with the microwave. But not too many games were doing that sort of thing back, back then. These, these, these are the nodes where I upgrade my stats. And statistics in this game, they, they are done in a way that makes sense. It's a cybernetic rig. Uh, it doesn't make perfect sense, but it does... Oh, I'll turn on the minimap. It does make sort of sense. Uh, certainly more sense than statistics in conventional role-playing games. Orders for me to place this grunt into the recovery freezer. I'm no cyber doc, but I know a plant job when I see one. I suppose you know they outlawed our grade cyber goodies after that fiasco back on Citadel Station. Citadel hey, Station. I just work here, right? System shop. And the grunt I mentioned was you. Okay, now I'm hacking. This is um, just very simple connect the dots. It's not a mini game, really. Security access compromised. Security access speed access booster, compromised. Uh, boost, and speed booster. They do exactly what you would think they do. Speed boosters are very handy getting through some areas. Now I'm going to upgrade hacking to hack 2. And that's all my points gone for the time being. So I think I'll head upstairs now. Check out. Ah, this um, information thing. These are the kinds of things that you would actually see on a spaceship or any kind of facility, I think. Uh, sort of teaching you where to go and, and what's what and stuff. Um, but in this game they double as uh, tutorials very detailed tutorials on every aspect of the game. Um, so if you want to read them, you can, and if you want to ignore them, they just blend into the background in a believable way, uh, giving you text-based tutorials without harming the immersion or the believability. It's, it's incredibly cool, the, the, just all the things that this game does that that no one would even think to do today. Nothing over there. 